Hello and welcome to Buildings of Tomorrow. My name is John Lester and in this episode we'll be talking about some of the barriers to entry of applying data analytics. I'm joined today by Tyson Suter, a Global Business Development Manager for Digitalization at Siemens Smart Infrastructure. Tyson, thank you for joining us. Thanks, John. Please give us an insight on some of the barriers to entry when we're talking about data analytics. Yeah, so one of the conversations I have with a lot of customers when we bring up a topic around fault detection, data analytics, digital services, is I don't, they don't think their building's ready. They think, what do I need? Do I need a lot of extra sensors? And we always say that well, you can, there's a lot you can do with a small amount. Um, I think one of the minimum requirements is we need a connected system. It can't be standalone. That makes it a little bit harder. Now, if you have a device that's connected straight to the cloud, we can do a lot with just that, but it needs some sort of connectivity. The next step is, okay, so you've got a, you've got a, a BMS or a centrally connected system. What sensors are available? Um, with very basic functional sensors, you can, you can do a lot of things just with you know, enables and, and, and a status and a couple of temperature sensors. That's enough to measure performance of a piece of equipment. So straight away we can say, oh, there's a lot of fault detection we can do, but also we can measure, is it running effectively? Is it, is it running as we expect it to? So just with the normal amount of sensors you would expect to see in a building, it's a lot of savings and opportunities and, and monitoring you can do from there. So actually one of the, the biggest barriers that perhaps the industry and some building owners see is actually a myth to a certain extent. You don't need to have an advanced system to apply data analytics. The only thing you need, and this is, is a real barrier, is you need some kind of connectivity. Connectivity, definitely. And, and we're getting to a place now where that's not becoming a problem. So you've got to be careful on how you connect these buildings up, of course. There's always security risks. But if you're running a, a, you know, a, a decently sized building, you can say, okay, there, there's opportunity there. And now let's look at it and say, let, that we can do low cost solutions or, or high cost solutions. It's all about how can we scale it to fit your needs. Beautiful. So, so once you have this connected system, you don't need to invest in a huge amount of additional hardware or infrastructure to actually start finding benefits and, and deriving value from data analytics. Yeah, so the, the sensors, you know, you're going to get a, a proportional savings, but a lot of the savings are made through very limited amount of data sensors. Um, but once the buildings become more advanced and more tuned, that's when you need that higher level of data. Now, if you don't have visibility on what your tenant's doing, well, we can't improve the experience too much, but we can we can control the air and the lighting a bit better. Maybe you have a bunch of light fittings that are all based off circuits. Great, we can do some things like that, but of course we can't do individual control or or changes or or light levels. But this is all you know stuff that improves on the baseline improvements. So if you you know if you have a connected building, a, a central a central system of any type, you can say, okay, I can make savings, I can make improvements, and. There's never been a building I've connected to where there wasn't room for improvement, even, even brand new buildings. And that's an in important point to touch on as well. It's whatever benefits and whatever system you have, those benefits are proportional. They're, they're connected. So maybe you won't be able to make some of the huge advances and huge improvements that you could see with a more advanced system, but even simple systems can see benefit. And everything that you can control, you can improve. Yeah, definitely. And if you don't have a connected system or, or limited sensors, there's going to be room for improvement. That, mm -hmm. That's the way it works. Yeah. So that, and I think there's always going to be ways we can make savings. So I think it's it, it's it's more people worried about the topic more than the capabilities of the the solutions to go into the building. So so from your perspective as an expert in the in the industry, do you see that data analytics is seen as this advanced functionality, this this uh, highly complex service? that only highly complex and advanced buildings can take advantage of. Yeah, and, and, and people think, well, I've, you know, I've got an engineer, I've got someone on site, I don't need that kind of solution. But it's not, it's not, it's not replacing this, we talked about these people, it's not about saying, oh, whatever system it is, maybe it's simple or complex, there's always a way to improve it. And there's just a way to say, okay, we, we can look at everything at once and say, Let, let's just focus our concentration a little bit better. Let's justify some of the work and, and bring value to that building just through simple analysis. Perfect. So, like many things in, in building industries, uh, like many things in building controls, 
data analytics is scalable, just like, uh, just like you could have a scale functionality of a building control system. So you're able to apply data analytics to systems and take advantage of whatever connectivity and functionality you have. Exactly. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks, John. And thank you all for joining us here on Buildings of Tomorrow. Please feel free to comment, like, and share this episode and ensure to subscribe to us here on this channel. We'll see you again soon.